Hello everyone, Commodore Blitz here, and today we're going to do a little time travel. Not with just one game, but many games. We're going back to early 70s and 80s, and thanks to the multi-arcade machine emulator, MAME, we are going to give these classics a try. We'll see if any of them crash, though. Let's get to the action. First, first up is a game I remember playing as a child. It's called 1942. It's a shooter. It takes place in World War II. Made by Capcom in 1984. These are all the arcade versions. The actual arcade games were copied on the disc. So these are the authentic original arcade games, just without the cabinets. Let's add some quarters, shall we? Ah, oh, it's nice not to have to pay anymore. Okay, let's go and fight World War II. You're a little fighter plane. And you gotta take on the enemy and here we oop I am a little rusty but I have unlimited quarters did that say last stage? weird how it says we're starting out in the final stage and your bullets in these games these shooters which uh, a lot of people refer to as bullet hells games you actually shoot as fast as you can hit the button. That's why you'll probably hear a lot of my button clicks on my keyboard. Gotta dodge those bullets. You can also move forward to avoid them too. Those red planes you want ah uh, you want to get because that has a power up in it. Ah, uh, really? That's it. No continues. Shot down 32 points, 78 percent. Really, I get my name up. Except I have no idea how to press and hold the fire button and push start. Yeah, that those red planes give you a power, which make your bullets much more powerful. Whoa. Yep, unlimited quarter, so we can play it until we get tired. <clears throat> do you lose your power up? Yeah, I think you do. And then I die again. Well, I'm doing well. No one laugh out there. Been a long time since I played this game. I remember playing it in either a pizza shop. Pizzeria, waiting for pizza to be cooked, or maybe in the arcade at the mall. Ah, come on, yeah, get that bomber. If you actually make it to the next set of red planes. You can get, you can increase your power up even more. Ugh. Ugh. Wow, that was 1942. Whew, makes me tired. A sore finger. Let's move on to the next game. Next in our little time travel is 1943. Very similar to 1942. They just enhance the graphics like most sequels and hopefully added a little game features that make it a little easier for someone that's a little rusty like me. This is 1943, the Battle of Midway from 1987, so it's a few years after the other one. Let's get those quarters in there and sound has cut off. Some of these uh, games, sometimes it will, the sound will cut off at times. 
as you know, the emulator is emulating the ca the whole arcade cabinet, so it's not foolproof. Uh, let me restart the game and uh, see if we can get some sound. There we go, everyone. We have sound now. Graphics, perhaps a little bit better. And this one, though, they actually tell you about your main target. Plus the bar at the bottom is your life. And you can actually use up the life bar for a super move if you want. Now ah, let's get those... Get, now plus the power up is selectable. I mean if you shoot it, it'll change into a different weapon in this version. When I get to the big ships, I'll show you the super weapon. You gotta be careful though, because... Yeah. See, I got a new weapon that's these little bullet things. But they do more damage. Yeah. Yeah, get in there. That, they're kind of short range though, so let's get a different weapon. Yep. I'll go back to this one. This is probably the most easiest weapon to deal with. Ah, I switch. See if you shoot it and pick it up before you notice. And that refills my life bar. Enemy bosses in range. Seems to be a little easier than the previous game. Here come the... Well, this is... I don't know if this is the main boss, but we're on the way. we got to take out... Take out these smaller cruisers and stuff before we get to the... I believe it's an aircraft carrier? I might want to switch to bombs or missiles if I get the power, because the aircraft carrier will go down a lot faster if I happen to have bombs. Here's the super weapon. It's kind of like a tsunami wave. Didn't do all that much on the big ship, did it? I think that's a battleship. I'm almost dead. Oh, there we go. Continue. There we go. I didn't quite take it out, but did I do enough damage? 60% destroyed. Let's return to our carrier. Stage 1 clear! Max energy. Not sure what the, that R thing is. Maybe that's our bonus, like, for an extra life. The Kaga. Our target is the Kaga of some... I don't know what kind of ship it is, but let's go. Let's take it out. Let's try a different one now if I can get it. Oh, that's like two bullets. Oh, it's, it's a machine gun that fires real fast. You don't have to keep pressing the button as much. Still gotta press it though. Now we got almost like continuous laser beams and my health is almost gone. Ooh, perfect timing to get a life bar. There, the enemy fleet is below us. Let's find the Kaga. We need... Oops. Continue. Get him! Come on! Yeah, I want a bomb. Ah! 
I didn't get it, I ended up getting killed. Oh, it's an aircraft carrier, the Kaga. Ah, I got this weak gun. Fall out of life. Uh, I'm a gunner. I'm a gunner. Did I get enough of it destroyed is the question. Eighty-nine percent. Round two clear. Five thousand special bonus. Here we go. Ayaki, Ayako. Sure, I'm not pronouncing that right. We gotta get a better weapon than that, though. What is that? Ah, I keep just powering up my current gun. What is that? Some kind of cloak? Oh. oh, those little zip things. I don't know what those planes are, but. Yo, yeah, oh, I got the bomb. Not the best time to get it, though, but it does a lot of damage. It's a bigger bomb. And I lost it for some reason. Don't know why. Maybe that one has a limit a limited amount of limited amount of ammo. Ooh. Oh, it's a it's a big plane. Gotta take out those engines. There we go. Taking out that tail gun wouldn't hurt. Ah. Doesn't seem to be able to damage it. There you go. The Akagi is Akagi gone. <laughs> Only 70 cent destroyed though. Round three cleared. What's the next target? The Fuzo. I think this will be the last one for this one this game. Go, 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 go. Really need a better gun. There we go. Ah, not those little itty bitty butt. It, it is able to shoot down enemy bullets, though, I know. So that's a good thing. I didn't notice that. Maybe if I power it up some more, it'll get a better range. They got bigger anyway. Ah! Come on. I'm gonna die! Oof. Visual contact with uh, whatever it was called, the Fuzo, the Fuzo. What is it? 
It's some kind of navy vessel. I don't see it just yet. Ooh, I got the bomb. Want to save it for the for? Oh, I died. I wish you could switch weapons though. What is that timer? How long the tower lasts? Oh, this is this is a real battleship. Oh, hit that button faster, that fire button. I think I got it at 100%. Took a lot of lives, though. Mission complete 100%, but it took a lot. Imagine how much quarters I would have used. Probably about 10 bucks by now. Well, I think we'll call that for the resist game, because my hand is sore. So I'll see you in the next game. Okay, folks. We're back, and this game is, I believe, pronounced Arachnoid. It's kind of a breakout game. If you don't know what that is, it's basically you have a ball, a paddle, and you bounce it into the blocks until you destroy them all. This one has some variations, though, like you can get power-ups and such. And as you notice, like I said, this is a, these are all the arcade versions. So you actually have to go through the power-up tests as if it was the real, the original hardware. Like this, it's doing a hardware check to make sure everything's working. Arachnoid. Let's put some quarters. And let's hit the button. The error in time is unknown. That is way too fast to read. Basically, our spaceship was destroyed and we're lost in time and space. And let's see if I can figure out the controls. Ooh, so basically, you have to bounce the ball and destroy all the bricks. I think the th idea is that this force field is keeping your spaceship locked. And it's super fast. Ugh. And very hard. Those things that fall down are the power-ups. Ooh. But they don't matter if you can't get the ball, and it's just, paddle sure really go, goes. I think I read the instructions on how to continue wrong. Well, let's try that again, because it's not like I got anywhere. We can start from the beginning. Whoa, jeez. Imagine all the quarters you waste on this thing because it. Oof, you really gotta... Oh, there's no way to get over there. High score is 50 grand, and I have 480. I just can't get the battle over there fast enough. Hold, fire button, and... To continue, okay. Ah. That battle just doesn't move fast enough. I need, like, the speed power up. Like you have to. Well, I don't think I'm getting very far in this game. <sighs> really? <laughs> I think we've done. This is a fun game and all. And trust me, I used to play it. It's fun, but right now, either I just am so bad at it, or sore hands, or rusty, or what. But we're moving to the next game. Now here's a classic everyone should remember, Asteroids, the Arcade Edition, all in its vector and black and white amazingness. Let's put some coins in, shall we? Asteroids, classic. <laughs> 
One tactic you can is stay in the middle, but it's kind of dangerous. My favorite tactic is to move. Okay, what? Okay, that's the thruster. Just move slowly in one direction. Uh, ooh, I got the alien saucer. Another game where the faster you hit the button, the faster it shoots. Ooh, his bullet. And you can shoot yourself, by the way. The bullets, see, they come around the other side. So you gotta be careful. Oh! They got me. And your momentum carries you, just like in real space. See how I'm moving? If I want to counteract that, I would... I would have to turn my ship around and hit my th oop, and hit my thruster the other way. It's like vector thrusting. Ooh, a little. And more asteroids spawn real quick. Sometimes they spawn right next to you and you. Eh. Oh, this was so fun to play in the arcade. Eh. Oof. Gotta have quick reflexes. Ooh, did, that, did I get him or the asteroid got him? I'm not sure. I think the asteroid got him. Nice. The asteroids will get, I think, larger or faster the more, you know, more levels you go. Ooh. Can I break the ten grand limit? Ten thousand. New ship, please. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Game over. Hey, you got my name. Which it won't matter because when I shut the game off, it'll erase everything. Hope you've enjoyed Asteroids. Let's move on to the next game. Here's another classic, and well, let's be truth, they're all classics. This is a fighter game. Much in the vein of Street Fighter, but in this one, it's, well, it's more of a side scroller fighter. You're a bad dude. And your mission, I believe, is to rescue the president. I may be wrong on that, but you're rescuing someone. Then you're a bad dude. Rampant ninja related crimes these days. White House is not the exception. Guess what, that was a news report? Yeah! Now we do have sound, right? Here we go. Bad dudes. One looks a little like Bruce Lee. I'm not sure who the other one looks to. It's bad dudes versus dragon, dragon ninjas. Is that President Arnold? President Ronald Reagan has been kidnapped by the ninjas. Are you a bad enough dude to rescue Ronnie? Of course I am, as soon as I figure out the controls. Yeah, crotch shot. And jump. Not the most, uh... Not the most, uh... Large set of, uh... Yummy. I was saying, not the most, not the most varied sets of moves. You can jump, you can punch, you can kick, you can get hit. Roof, roof. Normally I wouldn't kick a girl, but in this case. Ooh, big guy. Which, guess you don't have to kill them all. You just gotta... I notice that timer is not moving. Oh, it is moving. Ooh. You gotta beat the level pro- Ooh. 
You gotta beat the level, I think, before that 25 seconds is up, so. Oh, one life gone. I like how his flame didn't even touch me. Ah, I think I'm gonna get him. I'm bad. I'm bad, dude, yeah. Imagine all your friends watching the arcade and I'm bad, dude, yeah. Let's go to the next stage, because I don't want to sit here, right? <laughs> the clock gave me more time. I'm bad. I'm bad. Was that Michael Jackson song? <laughs> oh. I kicked a girl. <laughs> and I liked it. Did I just die? I think the truck doesn't move very fast, does it? Nobody dropped any more soda cans. Come on! I'm a bad dude. I can be ten of you before I die, at least. Can you guys, like, you know, crawl up faster? Got a Wolverine dude here who was easy to beat. That East, by the way, is the company that made the game. So, perfect to put there. Oh, really? They got me. Wow. Ugh, your sword is not powerful enough to beat me. Yeah. Surprised there's no music in the game, but that's okay. No music means no copyright violations, right, folks? Ooh. Ooh, I got nunchucks, but I think that was all the enemies. Oh, we got a boss. I think I found the boss's weakness. Or not. Okay, boss, come on, just die. We know you want to. I went and died. Oop. Boop. I'm bad. I'm bad. <laughs> hey, we're in the sewers. Where's the Ninja Turtles? I mean, I think it is New York, right? Need a knife? Oh, it's only one year. No, nope, it's still there. Me died. Ah, poor girl. Well. 
Huh, the, he hum the thing they wear on their head makes them look like Spider-Man. Huh? Man, those things are hard to jump on. Oh, this is the boss. He splits into multi man. That just means a lot of weak guys to beat. He's doing it again. You know, the more you make, the more I take out. Cause why? Because I'm a bad dude. stages there are. A4 stage. Must be getting near the enemy headquarters. I always with all these old games though when the enemy is like right on top of you you can't always seem to hit them. quarter <laughs> Ooh, got a flaming torch down there I like how the dogs have a smile on their face. More guys, please. You're t it's like What are you from, Mad Max? like the tactic of hitting them and jumping away seems to work pretty good. Four more 
hits. Might help the face the right way though. Yes, I'm a bad dude, and don't you forget it. Yeah. Bad dude. <laughs> We're on a train now, going in the opposite direction. That's interesting. Don't fall off the train. I like how the train moves so slow. And then you fall right off the train. Bad dudes, bad dudes, bad dudes. What you gonna do when you get to me? You're gonna fall off the train, you're gonna die real quick. <laughs> but watch me die as I fall off the train. <laughs> See, when they're right on you, you can't actually hurt them. any of these jumps. What do we got? The Hulk? Did you die already? No, I don't think so. Well, that was easier. Saving Ronnie the President. What's this one say? Chelnova? Chelnov? Atomic Rummer. Runner? Ah, bad dude coming for you, Mr. Bad Guy. make any of those chumps. Wait, well, we're at the engine. We must be at the end of the train ride. Because, you know, when you get to the engine, all trains, train trips end, right? <laughs> well, this guy's not too tough, is he? As long as I duck. Yeah. Oh, can I kick him off the train? Makes me think of an early version of Scorpion, uh, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Bye bye. You got bad dutified. Okay. Where's the president? Hey, we're in a cave. Must be the enemy headquarters here, right? Yeah. 
Ow, 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 ow. Darn cave. I think those are booby traps made by the boss. We want to rescue the president. These Spider Man dudes, whatever they are. Arf, poor doggy. Spin kicky. Stick fighter, quarterstaff fighter, something. Oh, I like how I can hit this guy multiple times. He hits me one time and I hit him like several times. Doesn't mean he's not doing me damage though. Come on, where'd you go? I think I got you, Mr. Stickman, if I just careful here. I'm bad. Don't you forget it. Next stage. Hmm, looks like we're in some kind of building or something. We must be getting near the guy who thinks he's the bad dude. Yep, you keep coming up the stairs, or the blocks. Numchucks. You just keep jumping there, and I'll keep hitting you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Death, does that say Death Star Industries or Enterprises?
Give me that sword. Poking me in my bits. Rip off ball rug, you're not gonna last too long. Oops. Oh goody, a gold guy in armor. He's not a boss, but he's Got the same moves of that guy, though. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, gotta love the sounds. <laughs> I guess I'm in the elevator. I was dead at the time, so I guess I couldn't see the animation. Okay. You're a boss. How come you're not showing me your health bar? I'm bad. Guess that wasn't it. <laughs> Too early. F oh, not you again. I'm. Yeah, this must be the enemy headquarters because I am fighting all the bosses of beforehand. How does Naruto could the multi shadow clone technique Naruto? Did you steal that from Naruto? Actually, I think this is before Naruto existed, but it's a good technique. Wish I knew it right now. <laughs> Am I bad yet? No, I think I gotta keep going. You too, huh? Like, I didn't beat you enough the last time. You come back for a second beating, huh? I'm still bad. Who's next? Oh, Mr. Mr. Stick. You didn't get enough beating last time? I'm really bad, yeah. Ooh, a helicopter. Oh, that's the final boss, I think. Or it's the big boss from this level, anyway. Ooh. Now, how are we supposed to beat this guy? Well, this is tricky. I wonder if the dogs are the guy's house. Ooh, I found like... Oh, don't fall off. If I can stay up there. Ooh, 
Oops. Menu for the game. Well, except for dying, he's not really all that tough, is he? <laughs> Just gotta get up there and hit him. Hey, Ronnie! I'm bad! I rescued the president! Yeah! Did we complete the game? Well, with the high score maxed out to the maximum score possible, regardless of what my score really was. Hey dudes, thanks for rescuing me! Let's go for a burger! Ah, 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 ah! <laughs> Gotta love the writing in this game! Yum! Everybody is happy we completed the game, which is so rare. Like his hamburger. <laughs> now, that music's not copyrightable, right? That's like the American theme song. <laughs> I won't put it past them. I'll let you know if they do do that copyright, though, and I'll let you know in a reply. Forever by Data East. Ooh, I get to put my name up. There we go, folks. From 1988, Data East USA. I think we'll end our little adventure into arcade days past right now. Hit the like button, share with all your friends, leave a comment, let me know any games you'd like to play, especially these retro games. If I can find it, we'll take a look at it. And let me know if you'd like to see me actually complete more like Bad Dudes, or just play it for a while to get the feel of the game like those earlier ones I did. So, leave those comments. Hit the bell and subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. Make sure you share it with everyone because the more people that watch, the more videos I can make. Until the next time, this is Commodore Blitz. Keep your quarters go ready to go. Have a nice day. It's